So my name is Kyle, and my speech is Rugby for Dummies. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, where rugby came from, the positions in a scrum, and some of the basic equipment. Sports involving hitting, throwing, kicking balls have been around since we've been able to walk up. Even the Romans have uh, written accounts of sports being played much like today's. However, according to rugbyfootball.com, rugby was officially formed in 1863 during a meeting in Cambridge, England, where the sport came together to form official rules. One group wanted to ban hacking, tripping, and running with the ball, while the other wanted to keep these tactics in the sport. They couldn't agree, so they split apart, thus forming soccer and rugby. For anyone who has never played or watched a game of rugby, it would seem like a crossbreed between soccer and American football. And in fact, it is. Like soccer, it has two 40-minute halves. It involves things like throw-ins, penalty kicks, and non-stop play. Like football, it involves plays, tackles, and it's mostly played with your hands. There are three major things that can go on in a rugby game. It's a scrum, mauling or rucking, and lineups. To keep things simple, I'm going to explain the positions in a scrum. So here you have your ball. There's 15 guys on the field. First one's your hooker, two props, flankers, locks, an eight man, scrum half, fly half, outside and inside center, fullback, and a left and right wing. I also want to talk a little bit about the equipment. There is no equipment actually required to play rugby other than a matching jersey of your team. However, there are a lot of common attire. Here we have rugby cleats. Uh, the only difference is they don't have a toe cleat because there is kicking involved and you know how that works. Here's a rugby shorts and a rugby jersey. A lot of the time they also have collars on the jersey very traditional thing and the shorts and jersey are usually very thick uh, cotton because you're doing a lot of pulling and carrying on. Oops. There was a mouth guard, looks like any other mouth guard. These are a little bit of protective equipment, really the only protective equipment you'll see out there and really only one or two guys out of the 30 out there will probably be wearing. This is a scrum cap, works kind of like a helmet but less. And this is a little body protection. Since rugby does not require a whole lot of equipment, injuries are as much as tackling and passing in the game. So I wanted to briefly show you a couple slides I thought would be kind of fun. This is when I dislocated my shoulder playing ISU. This is my roommate and buddy Dan, before a game and after a game. Now, I've talked a little bit about rugby in general, and I'd like to leave you a quote with a quote from westclark.com. To play rugby league, you need three things. A good pass, a good tackle, and a good 